And we're here to do a review today on some brushes that we purchased from um, eBay, no, Amazon. And we looked for reviews on them, but we could not find reviews on them except for one. And so we thought after purchasing them that they were worth reviewing so that maybe someone else could uh, get a really good value for the price. So Lauren is going to show to you, I'm going to show you the case they come in, is really actually cute. It's plethora, it's not really leather, and so, not plethora, <laughs> fake leather. It's a bunch. <laughs> it's fake leather. It's plastic. Plethora. Plether. Plethora. Plether. 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 <laughs> it's pleather. So. It's makeup for you, because you want makeup, and it's fun. You're a big fan. Of makeup for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's what the case rolls out to. There's 24 brushes. So and they whoop, they're closing. But that you're whoop, oh know. having problems, y'all. There we go. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. So it kind of ranges basically trying to cover like all your essentials. I can go over each brush real quick if you want. We can do that. But it ranges from Fan brushes, the eyeshadow brushes, etc. So we'll start with the big fan, which is this guy right here. And super like nice, dense fan brush. It really is a really nice fan brush They're, for the price. Yeah. We paid super soft. Um I I wanna say we paid fourteen dollars a set. Yeah, I think that's right. For them. And they're badger hair. Some of them are. The well, yeah. We'll show you which ones are. Which ones aren't? You can tell the difference, but the ones that are, they pick up product so nice. Like, you just like, just, just barely just tap your product and it's just on it. Like, that's one of the pluses of animal hair. Yeah. And y'all, animal hair does not mean it's cruelty because mm -mm. you cut your hair mm -hmm. and they cut animals' hair and it's the same thing. It does not mean that it's cruel or anything like that. It so, grows back on the animals that they use. Yeah. That's why there's angora hair. Angora goats are made for trimming. Yeah. That's why like, actually like sheep and goats and animals like that, if they're not trimmed, then they get really sick and they can actually die because they get their fur gets matted and stuff. Kind of like if you never washed your hair and you never trimmed your hair, it would be like super unhealthy and stuff. So it's a good thing, not a bad thing. So, this is coming from two farm girls, so we know. Yeah. <laughs> coming from girls that have raised these animals yeah. and everything else. Just just to let you know, because I know media kind of portrays it as like a horrible thing, but it's not. So we also use synthetic brushes. Yeah, and there, we do. there's some there's some benefits to both types of brushes. Yes. And so don't don't get on the kick of the cruelty thing. Yeah. Just they're both good. Don't go there. Just use both. Yeah. It's a good enjoy thing. it. God yeah. made it that way. Yeah. Here's this next brush is a powder brush. It says powder. We use it for our Ben Nye powder, which we are going to be reviewing very soon. So stay tuned for that. It's also real hair. And it's very dense. They're very, very dense. And they're all soft. Of, they're really good super quality, soft. super soft, just nice brushes. And like there are several brushes in this kit that we don't use because they're not the type of brushes that we use. But for $14, the price mm -hmm. made these brushes that she's showing right now worth purchasing yeah. the kits. You can pick and choose, which is the beauty of it. This one is a blush brush. Super nice little blush brush. Just you know, good size small for like if you're if you're like a super blush like I want it all over my cheeks and it's a little bit small but it's really nice, soft, dense. Another thing is that we've washed these since purchasing mm -hmm. them after using them and no fallout yeah. of the hairs. They at all. don't shed. Mm -mm. I've never I have not yet had one to shed on my face even using the brushes. So no. I'm I think that's also a good testament to the quality. And they don't stink. They smell. Not well, really. They don't smell. Uh -uh. This one is synthetic, and it's a foundation brush. Here's this one. Foundation. Synthetic, just flat foundation brush. It's dense. It's, its density is nice and all that, so. It's not one that I use. I don't it. use it because I don't do flat foundation brushes. I feel like it makes my makeup look too cakey. Um, this next one is a fan brush, which I use, like, every single day <laughs> for my highlight. That's so. one of my faves. Super cute. That's upside down. So just super cute little highlight brush. And it picks the highlight up. Yeah, I have a highlight just right here. Just a tiny, I mean, you don't even put pressure. It's just, just like, like, here's the brush, here's the highlight. And there's going to be like, boop, boop. And then look, there's highlight there. all over that. Mm -hmm. So, super good. I 
it would be more my life, but hey, we'll go for it. I hope we can always use another one. Oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> that one put it back dirty. I have a pet peeve about dirty like makeup cases. Okay, next brush is a con. Oh, and that one was animal hair. <laughs> this... They're all badger hair. I want goat's hair or pony hair, but these were all badger hair. <laughs> yeah, so it works. This next yeah. one is a contour brush. So we use it. I use mine for bronzer. That's upside down again. <laughs> Work. So I use mine for my bronzer too. Yep. It's super soft, super dense, like all of them. No shedding. It gets right in there where you need it. Yeah. And then this little guy's an eyebrow comb. Eyebrows. I like that too. Mm hmm And then we have a bunch of eyeshadow brushes. I'll pull them out as a group just so that we don't keep on keeping on. <laughs> they label them as eyeshadow, medium angled shading, and fluff, but none of these are very, they're not fluffy. <laughs> they're not fluffy. They're kind of very, like, <laughs> there's no kind of about it. They are very stiff. So I, I will say, this one right here, though, this one that she has, this one, and there's one more that's large like that, I think. This one? These are both really good for um, laying on your, your eyeshadow. They're flat. They pick up the eyeshadow well, and then you can lay on a layer really well with both of those. Yeah. Yeah, this one is fluffier. This black one is fluffier than the, this brown one a little bit. So it's just come. It's just a matter of, like, they're not good for trying to, like, blend and stuff because they're stiff. But if you want to, like, actually poke, poke me in the eye. <laughs> no, but if you want to, like, pick up product <laughs> and just, like, gently, like, pat it down. And these are really good for that. Yes. So, and then in addition to that black one, there are these as well. They're labeled medium eyeshadow, smudge, and short eyeshadow. So, I'm just going to go ahead and They're good. And like we said, I mean, it's super fun just because you can mix and match what you want to use and don't want to use. Okay, this one, I've not figured out yet. It's labeled eye contour. It's round and dense. And if you know, please leave a comment and tell us yes. what this is used for because we can't figure no, it no. out at all. <laughs> what is what is eye contouring like? Eye contouring with with a round brush, though. I mean, it is a it is a flat it's a cylinder. Round. It is truly a cylinder. So what yeah. do you, what do you do? What do you do with a cylinder brush every time? No, don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then there's a little eyeliner guy right here. Precise eyeliner. It's a little fluffy. I've used it for an eyeliner more than once, and it worked really well for smudge pots. And, like, we have, like, liquid eyeliner. gel eyeliner, liquid stuff, so that's good. Then there is a lip brush, which you try to use. Up. Yeah. If you haven't watched our lipstick hack video... I talked about using this, but I didn't use it. Go watch it after you watch this one. It's great. And subscribe. This one's for eyeliner, too. It's um, not what I would think of as an eyeliner brush. I actually use that. Um, Did you use it? I use that one, and then there's one more that I use for eyeliner, but I use it with my eyeshadows. I have um, some Too Faced uh, eyeshadows in the chocolate palette that I like to use as eyeliner, and so I'll use the brush, pick up what I need, and then use it on the lower lash line. Mm. And then I use the angled one that she's fixing to show angled you on the brow. upper. No, there's another oh, one. Oh, is there another one? Yeah. Well, it is. I use it on the upper eyeliner for the upper. Yeah. It's right oh. there. That one. Okay. I think. I don't know. This one's an angle eyeshadow brush. I just think it's like the gift that keeps on giving to like get this and just go through all the brushes because there's so many. Okay, the last brush brush is the concealer brush, like a little concealer brush guy. So if you're wanting to conceal like dark spots or something, this little guy's good for picking up and laying down just like small amounts. It's kind of it's not really good for under your eyes because it's such a big area, but for just like spot concealing, this is really good. And then there are two sponge applicator guys. I like this. I like this one. Like the double colored one? Yeah. So I use it for putting the, the corner. Yeah, the corner highlight. So I like it. Here's the last. And the last thing in here is a lash brush. So it works really well for separating. Yeah. 
Do you use it? I have. I use it because like I like my eyelashes not to be clumpy and so when I get the mascara on sometimes you get those big clumps sometimes. I take that and I go over my eyelashes and it actually just totally smooths them out and gets rid of the clump and makes them really pretty and then you can keep them. I like it a lot. So. I really want to dip this into one of my mascara containers because I like the brush like the punk volumizing mascara. The brush is similar to this, and it makes such great, like, thick lashes. lashes. Yeah, it just makes them, like, thick and full, but not, like, clumpy. So, anyways, that was this. Overall, great value, great kit, great everything. Super fun to try. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, let us know if you have any questions about it. And Amazon. Amazon. Good. Make it for you. Good deal. It's and, a good deal. Um, she'll put down in the deal where we got it a link to link the, to the company box. Yeah. And where we purchased it. And hopefully yeah. this is helpful to you if you're looking for makeup brushes. Yeah. Be sure and subscribe. And yeah. keep up to date with us. And like, give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. Yeah. Let us know if you try them and how it works. And until next time, from us to you, remember, you are beautiful. beautiful.